Hey guys, boys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Shit's Creek Season 5, Episode 3. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, welcome to my office. Now I think we all know that most VIP guests wouldn't be caught dead at a motel like this, no offense, but I have been able to secure a V. VIP guest. Well, I'd go out on a limb and say all of our guests are very important, Alexis. That's cute. Anyway, Amir Kaplan is a very influential travel blogger, so it is of the utmost importance that we all make him feel at home. He once paid to talk up Heart Blaster Energy Drink at a Third Eye Blind concert. I'm pretty sure we don't have the budget for actors. I mean, if you're looking to pay some guy to lie about how great this motel is, I'm happy to step in. Do we need Roland? Stevie. You can be the plant. You look like someone who just wandered in off the road. Thanks. <laughs> and Johnny can be our manager. Okay, first of all, you gotta stop with the Johnny business, okay? And secondly, I am the manager. Okay, well, you should probably start getting into character then. Okay, thanks. Walk in the bedroom <laughs> to the shower and you look fine. Huh? <gasps> okay, Ray, we, we might need a minute. <laughs> of course. Door open or closed? Closed. Wow. Okay, this is not working anymore. I think it's time we look for an apartment. Oh. Okay. I mean, if that's what you want. Oh, I think it's more of a need at this point, David. I've been thinking about it for a while. Oh. Gentlemen, you're gonna laugh, but I just remembered we do have eggs. They're in the pantry next to the pancake mix, which means they've been sitting out for days. You've ordered without me. Makes sense, because I was seven minutes late. Well, we've yet mm. to put in our Kifla order if you're peckish. Oh, I can't stay. I actually might not be able to make it to rehearsal today. Roland was supposed to watch the baby, but he's got tied up at the motel. So. Oh, Jocelyn, if you can't make it to rehearsal, no one's gonna hold it against you. Yeah, the baby comes first. Well, I just feel bad because we really need to rehearse that Nine Inch Nails medley for our concert at Yarn for Cheap. I'd be more than happy to spearhead that effort, Jocelyn. After collaborating so closely with the director on Crows, I feel even more finely attuned to the fluctuations of the human condition. Okay, it's just like our that. guest services liaison. Yes, and it's actually pronounced liaison, hmm. and my name is actually pronounced Roland. And if there's anything you need, please tell me. Room service, turn down service, valet service. Okay, uh, roll on. Those are a few items that might be tricky to pull off, but we do have coffee and pastries every morning. Oh, great. That, uh, that should beat the black mold I had for breakfast at my last motel. <laughs> <laughs> roll on. Uh, why don't you uh, show Mr. Kaplan to well, me? <laughs> ah, yes, formidable. Um, if you would, uh, how do you say, um, <laughs> You seem somewhat normal. Thank you for saying that. Oh. Uh, everyone agreed that I was the normal one in my cell block at the women's prison, so. Oh, wow. Well. Which prison? Maybe you know my wife. <laughs> I don't, I'm kidding. I don't have a, a wife anymore. Oh, disappeared? I'll never stop looking. I'm Amir. Stevie. Stevie. Hi, Stevie. Nice to meet you. Oh, David. We have a V VIP staying with us at the moment, so do you mind staying at Patrick's tonight? Your vibe can be a bit intense. Um, excuse me, if anything... Um, is she just saying this so she can expand her home office when I move out? I actually wasn't thinking that at all. Anyway, David, your boyfriend asked you to move in with him. You do it. I know. Also, do you have, like, a time frame as to when that might happen? No, I don't. Yeah! yeah. Oh my God, so moody. Love it. Now, Ronnie, the line has been changed. Do I want to kiss you like an animal? I remember it on All the right. day. Well, I say we wrap things up on a high. Lady, scour your clothes. Massage. I have sciatica. I ran all over town looking for a babysitter. Oh, pulled a number off a telephone pole. She's a pet sitter, but she said she'd make an exception. I don't even know her last name. Jocelyn, that sounds dangerous some. I didn't want to miss this rehearsal. But do any of you care? Apparently not. Because all of you have been acting like a bunch of B-words. Okay. If 
Evidently, one or two of you have gotten under her skin. <laughs> you? Do you like what you do? I do, for the most part. You know, I like to keep a low profile when I'm on the road. I find if people know that I'm coming in advance, they tend to put on a big show and I never know what's genuine, so. Yeah, that must be tough. Okay, I don't even know where to start with this menu. <laughs> I'm a plant. I'm sorry? You were talking about never knowing what's genuine, and uh, I can't keep this up. I work at the motel, and my coworkers thought it would be a good idea for me to, like, talk up the motel. Uh, Let's but... welcome our dear friend Jocelyn back into the circle. Oh, should we be in a circle? Mm -hmm. It's not top secret. We all know Jocelyn has trouble being honest. Do we all know that? Wrong word. Okay, authentic. I think I can take it from here, Moira. All right, then. Gals, since the baby, things have just been really tough. That's good. That's good. Expand on that. Okay, and I feel like sometimes that my voice isn't being heard in this group. Touch louder, Jocelyn. Just because I don't ask for your help doesn't mean that I don't need it. Just a little more specific. We're all here to help you. Okay, okay, well, Ronnie. I've actually seen a few photos of this place. It looks pretty good. Yeah, the facade would indicate otherwise, but I trust you on this. So. Oh. You know, when I moved here and got a room with Ray, I didn't know how long I was going to be staying. Mm -hmm. Now here we are. For me, this is bittersweet because on the one hand, I could lose you as a roommate, Patrick, but on the other, I would gain the commission. <laughs> As you can see, this is uh, open concept. Oh, wow. It's good, hey, David? I thought this was the penthouse. Uh, it is. The top floor of three floors. I'll write this review, and then I won't have to feel guilty later. OK. OK. Right. After you. Oh, oh, that's not my room. Right, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, I know it's like the first place that we've looked at, but it's just something very homey about it to me. Yeah, a sentiment shared by inmates after their first couple years in jail. Okay, so you hate it. No. No, no. It's just if I've learned anything from house hunters... We're going to be moving in together. We should both be totally on board. I totally understand, David. Good. It's just that I was looking at this place, like, just for me. that you had said that we were going to see places. Right. Yeah. So, like, more of a general we, because I knew that you'd be staying over here quite a bit and that you'd probably have enough. The Rosebud Motel is a must-stay for any road tripper or weary traveler. This charming, lovingly restored roadside motel is a welcome pit stop for anyone looking for a clean room and first-rate hospitality. Compared to what? A haunted house? In fact, Johnny Rose oh. and his guest services manager will go almost too far out of their way to ensure a pleasant stay. How do I sign up for this turndown service? Is there a clipboard or something? Yeah, this is a sick episode, bro. And then the review, when he wrote the review about them and stuff, I think they're gonna get some attention because of what he said. They were willing to go and... <laughs> <laughs> to do anything they want and then uh Roland or should I say Roland, you know? <laughs> As he says a French show, it's too much bro. Roland is too hilarious. I swear the show is not the same with it. Like it's too much bro. Since he joined the motel as a crew member bro, <laughs> he's been too much, honestly. And then uh Stevie actually cracking under uh Stevie telling him the truth because she can't lie, you know? But yeah man, I really enjoyed this house fun. And then Moira and like Jocelyn going off on everybody, Twyla making her cry, poor Twyla, man, but can't wait to see that next episode, man. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you guys next video.